the end of a line? Sorry, sorry. Wow, this line goes on forever. It circles around and then it doubles back and circles around again. And people are psyched. This has been a crazy week, right? Yes, it has. There's this documents that Stormy Daniels' lawyer is putting out. The president is seeing the release of three hostages from North Korea. Wonderful. Got the U.S. out of the Iran deal. Wonderful. What's been the most important in your mind? Uh, I would say the economy, actually. Everywhere you drive right now, you're seeing a help wanted sign. Right. They can't even fill the jobs that we're having right now. It's amazing. And do you think any of the like the Russia stuff, the Stormy Daniels stuff, is that doesn't bother me? Doesn't a bit. matter to you. Because look at the past presidents. You know all this stuff with Stormy Daniels and right. her lawyer. Right. What do you guys say to that? I personally don't really care what he does in his You don't care. <laughs> does that make a difference out here? Everyone has a past. I'm sure you have a past, I have a past. There's a, a lot of international news this week. You yeah. think the president has the goodwill of the globe behind him? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. I think the Iranian people are finally filling their first opportunity to be free in 10 years. Right, because we pulled out of That's the agreement. Huge. Right. You know what? Iran never signed the agreement. Right. We never had an they're, agreement. They're, you're saying, so you, you don't think Iran was party to the uh, nuclear agreement? No, they never signed it. They were party to it, but they never signed it. Did you know that? We are all making America proud. We are rocking. We are rocking. Confidence is soaring, and optimism is at the top of every chart. We are unlocking new opportunities for prosperity and for peace. At 2 a.m., early this morning, I had the incredible honor of greeting three brave Americans who had been held in North Korea. And on June 12th, in Singapore, I'll be meeting with Kim Jong-un to pursue a future of peace and security for the world, for the whole world. And you have to work every day between now and November to elect more Republicans so that we continue making America great again. And by the way, this is the first for Indiana. Our new slogan for 2020. Keep America great. You know, a lot of these people, the politicians, they pay millions of dollars for ideas like that. How much do they pay for that? Zippo, Zippo. If you have been living in the universe of the media bubble, things for this president are bad. There's the swirling Russia investigation, the Rudy Giuliani fuck-ups, the Michael Cohen fuck-ups. There's all that noise. And then you come here, and that doesn't exist. The most jobs of America first. We want trade deals that are now fair. Now they're saying Merry There's, Christmas We again. love our workers. People are thrilled, people are fired up. People feel like the country is on the right track, that it's never been better. And this is their guy. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Indiana, we love you. Thank you, God bless you. The thing about Donald Trump is, as much as aspects of his campaign turned off half the country, he won, and he still has the crowd with him.